Good morning everybody, it's Lisa here from Rocco Baby Crochet and in today's tutorial we're going to be making this lovely little summer dress. Um, it's really beginner friendly, it only uses two stitches. We've got half treble crochets which I use UK terminology so in the US these are half double crochets and also this puff stitch which goes along the waistband of the dress. Um, we use a little technique to create these ruffles in the skirt which allows it just to hang really beautifully um, and it's a great little summer dress, quite easy to make. A couple of exciting announcements that I've got for you. Firstly, um, our friends over at the Wool Cellar have offered for anybody, any of the Rocco Baby Crochet viewers or readers now um, who are making this dress there is a 10% discount on this wool which is the James C. Brett Driftwood and also the wool that I'm going to be using for the tutorial today which is the Signet Silk Arrest and it's a double knit and I'm using the colour raspberry. It's really beautiful, really soft, it's an anti-pilling yarn so it's perfect for making a little dress out of. Um, the second piece of big news that we've got is that at the same time that I'm launching this video, um, so as you're watching it, I'm also launching the Rocco Baby Crochet website. So it's really exciting. So on there, there's going to be free written patterns to all my YouTube tu tutorials that are coming up in the future. So the first one is going to be obviously this um, summer dress so the written pattern is going to be completely free and it's available in two sizes zero to six months old and also six months to 12 months old so I'm going to be putting a link to my website in the description below um, but it's rockobabycrochet.com and over there on the website you'll also get the information of how you can claim your discount over at the wool seller on the yarns that I've used to make this dress. It's an exciting day! Um, I can't actually believe I've made a website. <laughs> Blows my mind a little bit. Okay so let's get into making this dress. I'll just go through what we need with you. Let me just pop this out of the way. Oh, that's handy because we need one of those. So you're going to need a stitch marker, a four millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a darning needle. And again, the wool that I've chosen is this Signet Silk S in the colour raspberry. You're going to need 200 gram balls of this. You're not going to use the full 200 grams, you're going to use about 150 grams of it. Um, so you'll have a little bit extra for some other projects. You can make some matching shoes out of the leftover. Okay, so let's get going into making the dress. Okay, so let's start making this dress. So what you want to do is take your yarn and make your slip knot. And what we need to do is we want to make a foundation chain of 68. So to make a chain, we just yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and pull it through. And each one of those is a chain. So I've just made four chains there. In total for this foundation chain, you want to do that a total of 68 times. So I found we're going to have a foundation chain of 68. So once you've got your 68 chains completed, um, if you come back to me, so hit pause while you're doing that and once you've got them, come back to me. I've just completed my 68 chains and what we need to do is we need to join this foundation chain together. So what we need to make sure is that we've got no twists in our foundation chain. So the way I do that is I just, um, so the V's are sort of pointing towards me or upwards. And then I just run my thick fingers through it, making sure that it stays untwisted right until I get back down to my very first chain that I did. And then once I'm at my first chain here, you just want to pop your hook into that chain 
and we're just going to do a slip stitch so you're going to yarn over and pull it through and then pull it through again and then you've slip stitched that closed so for round one what you want to do is place well to begin with we're going to just chain one that does not count as any stitch and then in every stitch along so every chain that you've got we're going to place one double crochet so remember that i'm using um english terminology so in the us that is a single crochet so you're going to insert your hook and we're going to go where we've done this slip stitch so you're going to first of all into there yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and take off both loops and then you're just going to move down every chain so pop your hook under the top loop there of that next chain pull up a loop two loops on your hook yarn over and pull it off move along to your next stitch which is here insert your hook place your double and just keep going along and you'll have in total at the end of row 1 68 double crochets now it's a good idea to keep count keep track of what you've got so you don't have to undo or go back at a later point in the pattern and if you are new to crochet pop a stitch marker in your very first double which is just there just so you don't mix it up with your chain one when you come to join in um when you come to join in round one okie dokie so i'll let you do your 68 double crochets come back to me when you're round here and i'll show you how we move up to the next row okay so i've just completed my 68 double crochets and i just wanted to show you before you join this here is your slip knot so that isn't a stitch that you're working into i know when i was new i was putting extra stitches in there and it was sending my patterns off so that is actually a slip stitch and it's not a stitch that should be worked into even though it may it can sometimes look like it so once you've done your 68 double crochets then you just want to slip stitch to the very first double crochet you did and then you're going to turn so to start row two you're going to chain two and then we don't work we don't count this as a stitch but we also we're not going to work anything into this slip stitch here that we've just created we're going to move along to this um, second stitch here and what we're going to do is in the next 10 stitches we're going to place one half treble crochet so US terminology, they are half double crochets. So what you want to do is you want to yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. Remember to pop your stitch marker in there. If you're a little bit unsure of finding your first stitch, and you're just going to do that ten, in total 10 times. So once you've got your 10 half treble crochets, one in every stitch along. So we're on to four. then into the next stitch we're going to place a little cluster of slit stitches so we're going to place one half treble then you're going to chain one and then you're going to go back into the same stitch and place a second half treble so then into the next 13 stitches along, you're going to place one half treble crochet. So just like we did before, 
So if you hit pause and come back to me when you've got your 13 half trebles. Okay, so I've done my 13 half trebles and then into my next stitch I'm going to place that same cluster of a half treble, a chain one and then back into that same stitch with another half treble. Then into the next 19 stitches along I'm going to place one half treble crochet. So if you go ahead and start making one treble crochet into the next 19 stitches, hit pause and come back to me when you've completed that. Okay, so I've just completed my 19 half trebles. So into my next stitch now I'm going to place that cluster again of a half treble, a chain one and another half treble. So a half treble, a chain one and then back into the same stitch and place a second half treble. So into the next 13 stitches along you're going to place one half treble crochet. So go ahead and do those 13 half trebles and come back to me when you've completed that. Okay, so I've just completed my 13 half trebles. So into my next stitch we're going to make our last cluster stitch of this round and you go into half treble crochet, chain one and then back into there and place your second half treble just like we've done in all the others. And then what you want to do is you should have nine stitches left. So into each of those stitches you're just going to be placing one half treble crochet. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is where we've got our last stitch. So it's the same stitch that your chain twos are coming out of. Now remember the chain twos aren't counting as a stitch, they just got us up to the correct height which is why we need to place a stitch in there. And then we're just going to slip stitch across to the top of this um, stitch here. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through. And then we're ready for row three. So if you turn your work again, and again you're going to chain two. Now what we're going to do in row three is we are going to be working a single crochet in every stitch along until we get to the cluster stitches that we made in the previous rounds and in the chain space that we created there in between the two stitches we're going to be placing another cluster the same as we did in that in the previous round. So let me do this first one with you and then I'll tell you your stitch count for the remaining ones. So for the first one what you want to do is remember we don't put anything into this um, where we've done our chain two because we're going to pop a stitch in there at the end. Move across to this one here and you're going to place one half treble crochet in each of the next ten stitches. So that's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. And then you can see that that has taken me to the top of the first stitch in the cluster. Can you see I've got two coming out of that hole? So that's the first stitch of my very first cluster that we worked. So into this chain space here, I'm going to place the same cluster of a half treble, a chain one, and go back into it and place another half treble. 
Okay, so then you're going to move on to, over to your next stitch, which is this one here. And we're going to place a half treble in each of the stitches along. So for this side, until you reach your next cluster stitch, you should have a total of 15 stitches. I like to keep count as I go along and then if I've got a problem with my stitch count, then I know about it pretty early on and I can go back and rectify if I've made a mistake. So once you've got your 15 half treble crochets, that'll bring you to this stitch here and into the chain space here, you're going to work the cluster. Okay, so once you've worked that cluster, come back to me and I'll talk you through the next little bit in your stitch count. Okay, so I've done my 15 half trebles, which has brought me back to my cluster stitch. So I'm going to place another cluster of a half treble, a chain one and a half treble in there. And then I'm going to work along this side. Now you should have 21 stitches that you work half trebles in. So go ahead, work your 21 half trebles and then we'll do the next cluster together. Okay, so I've just done my 21 half trebles and again I'm back at my half treble, chain one, half treble. So I'm going to place the same cluster into that chain space. Half treble, chain one, half treble. And then along the next side, your stitch count should be 15 half treble crochets. So go ahead and make those 15 half treble crochets then you'll come to your cluster stitch so you'll do that exactly the same as we've done it previously so you'll do a half treble a chain one and a half treble and then you'll have 11 stitches left to work into so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll come back to you when I'm coming towards the end of this round so you've got 15 half trebles to do on this side then you'll hit your cluster stitch where you'll put another cluster in the chain one space and then you've got 11 stitches to work into on this side but I'll come back to you when I've got a couple of stitches left to go. Okay so hit pause and press play when you're back at that point. Okay so I've got three stitches left to work and then that's my 11 done for the back side of the dress. So I just wanted to show you, so this is where our chain two is coming out of. So that's always going to be where we work our last stitch. And then we're slip stitching to our first half treble here. So these are your two chains, which we just use to get the correct height. So ignore them. This is just if you forget to use your stitch marker. And then you're just going to go straight into the top of your very first stitch and slip stitch it to join it. Turn your work again and chain two. Oops, one, two. So we're skipping where this comes out of our chain two and we're working straight into this one. And we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to go all the way across until we hit our uh, cluster stitch and that should be a total of 12 stitches on this side and then you've got your cluster so if you do your 12 stitches and your cluster and I'll meet you and I'll tell you what the stitch count is going along the other sides okay so I've just placed my cluster stitch and I'm just going to make my way across here popping a double crochet into each of the stitches and in total you should have a stitch count along this side which is um, the arm, the sleeve, the armhole that's going to be created. Um, you should have 17 half trebles along here and then you'll hit your cluster so put, then place your cluster in your chain one space um, and then once you place your cluster come back to me and we'll work down the next side and across the bottom. Okay, so if you hit pause now and do your, your 17 half trebles. Okay, so I've just hit my next cluster. So I'm going to place a half treble, a 
chain one and a half treble into that chain space of the previous row and then going along this side what you should have is a stitch count of 23 so you're going to place one half treble in each of the 23 stitches across and then when you get to your cluster place your cluster in there and then I'll meet you when we're coming down this side so hit pause until you get to that point okay so I've just finished my cluster for this corner here so I've done my half treble chain one half treble along this side you are going to have a total of 17 half treble crochets before you hit your cluster stitch again which is here and you're going to place um, the same cluster again into there and then going along the back here you should have 11 stitches so you're going to do 17 half treble crochets your group of your cluster of a half treble chain one half treble and then to finish off this round you're going to place one half treble in each of these 11 stitches that goes down this side and I'll meet you when I'm coming towards the end of my 11 stitches so if you hit pause now and come back to me when you're at a similar point okay so I'm at my last three stitches to complete this round Again, I'm going into where this chain two is coming out of for my last stitch. You should always be finishing on that point. Okay, so I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of this stitch here. Just like that. Turn my work again. And it should be looking like this. You should have sort of a square shape now forming. Well, an oblong, really, forming. Um, so let's move on to round five now. So what you're going to do is, again, you're going to chain two. Skip where this chain two comes out of and work into this second stitch here. And place your first half treble. And you're going to do that in each stitch along until you come to your cluster, which will be a total of 15 stitches. And then if you place your cluster into your chain space, like we have done in every other round, and come back to me when you're at that point, and I'll talk you through the stitch count for the next side. Okay, so I've just placed my cluster here in the corner of my half treble, chain one half treble. Now along this side, we're going to do a total of 19 half treble crochets and then you're going to place a cluster in that corner. Let me just make sure that that is correct. So yeah, 19 half trebles going along here, going along here. That bring you to your corner point here where you're going to place your cluster of a half treble, chain one half treble. And then um, down this side, if you come to me, back to me once you've completed that cluster, we'll go through your stitch count for the remaining sides. Okay, so I am back along the front of what's going to be my dress. I've done my cluster here in the corner, so I'm going to work one half treble in each of the next 25 stitches along. And then once I've done those, that should bring me back to my corner. So I'm going to place my cluster of a half treble, chain one, half treble. So if you work your way along that point, so you should have a total stitch count, 25 half treble crochets going along the front of your dress. And then if you do your cluster and then come back to me. So hit pause until you get to that point. Okay, so I've placed my cluster over here in this corner. So all we've got to do now is work along this side here, place a cluster and work along the back here of the dress. So to go along here, you're going to place one half treble crochet in 19 stitches along, which will bring you to your corner point here. And you're going to place a cluster in that chain space. 
and then along the back here you, you're going to have 13 stitches you need to work into so you're just going to place one half treble crochet in each of those 13 stitches along this side so across here it's 19 and then you do your cluster in your chain one and then coming down this side it's 13 so I'll meet you back round when I'm finishing up on this round and we're ready to go on to round six. So if you hit pause now. Okay, so I'm at my last three stitches and then we're ready to move on to row six. going to pop out my stitch marker slip stitch turn my work and chain two we've got two more rows similar to this so I think because now that you will have the idea of what we're doing I'm just going to tell you the stitch count all the way around. So you're going to again skip where you chain twos and start off into this stitch and you're going to work across 14 half treble crochets which will bring you to your corner where you're going to pop your cluster of your half treble chain one half treble and then down this side you're going to have a stitch count of 21 to bring you to your corner where you're going to place your cluster again into your chain space. Going along, along the front of your dress here, you're going to have a, a stitch count of 27 half treble crochets. Then you'll hit your chain space here with your cluster and then you'll go back up this side and you'll have um, a stitch count of 21, so it's equal to what was over here and that will bring you to your corner where you'll place your cluster. And then to go along the back of the dress, you'll have 13. Okay, so make your way around because I'm pretty sure you understand what's going on now. And I will meet you back when we are, when I'm finishing up round six and we're moving on to round seven. So just a quick little recap. So it's 14 and then you cluster, 21 and you cluster. 27 and you cluster, 21 and then you cluster and then 13 going across here. Okay, so I'll see you back here when I'm finishing up row six. Okay, so I'm on my last two stitches now. Of this row. And we're ready to move on to the next row so what I just want to do is I'm just going to slip stitch it to close this round turn my work and then we're ready to work round row seven so you're going to chain two exactly the same as we have been doing. Nothing goes into this stitch here where your chain two is coming out of, we're working into this stitch here. So let me tell you your stitch count for this one. So along here, you're going to have 14 half treble crochets till you get to your corner where you're gonna place your cluster into that chain space. Down this side here, you're going to have a total of 23 half treble crochets until you reach your corner here and you're going to place your cluster in the chain space. Along the front side of the dress, you're going to have 29 stitches to place one half treble crochet in until you get to your corner stitch where you're going to place your cluster in that chain space. And then back up along the side, you're going to have a total of 23 stitches that you're going to place one half treble crochet in till you get to your corner and you're going to place your cluster. And then coming along the back side here of the dress, you're going to have um, 15 half treble crochets. So let me just run past that, run you through that again. So it's 14. And then a cluster, 
23 and then you cluster 29 then you cluster 23 and then you cluster and then your last little bit here is 15 okay so you meet me back when you're coming up to the end of your row, row seven um, and then I will talk you through doing your last row of what forms the armholes of the dress. Okay, so I'm just at my last two stitches of round seven. Round eight is going to be the last round that we're working in this pattern. So what you want to do is again just turn your work, chain two and let me just go through your stitch count with you. Again you go in into this stitch here and not this stitch. So for row eight what you're going to do is you're going to have um, 16 half trebles going along the first this side to your first corner and then you're going to place your cluster. Then coming down this side here, you're going to have 25 till you hit your corner and place your cluster in that chain space. Then across the front of your dress here, you're going to have a stitch count of 31 until you reach your corner and then you'll place your cluster in that chain space. And then working back up this side here, you'll have a stitch count of 15. Oh no, sorry, of 25, ignore me, 25, and then you'll hit your corner and then across here is where you've got your 15. So let me just go through that again with you. So across the back of your dress, you're going to have 16 stitches till you hit your corner and then you're going to place your cluster in your chain space. Down this side, you're going to have 25 till you hit your corner and you're going to put your cluster into that chain space. Across the front of your dress you're going to have 31 to, to reach your next corner and here you're going to place your cluster in your chain space. Going up this side you're going to have 25 stitches until you hit this corner where you're going to place your cluster and then going along this back side of the dress you're going to have 15 stitches where you're going to place one half treble into each. And then I will meet you when I'm finishing off at round eight. So press pause and come back to me when you've completed row eight. Okay, I've just finished row eight and we're going to move on now um, to separating this out. So what we've got here is if we're going to be forming, separating the armholes. So basically it's going to get folded in half. And we're going to join this together here and this is what makes the armholes. So I just wanted to show you that so you had an idea if this is the first time you've made a dress. This is a really basic pattern for a dress. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea. Sometimes it's better if you know what's happening. So what you want to do is I've turned my... How about it? I hadn't turned my work. <laughs> Let me just redo my last stitch in here. And then I'm just going to slip stitch it to finish that round. Turn my work over. And then I'm going to chain two. So I'm going to work one half treble crochet into each stitch along here for a total of 16 stitches which will bring us to the um, chain space again and I'm going to just work one half treble crochet into that chain space but what I'll do is I'll once I've finished my 16 going across the top um, I'll come back to you. So hit pause now until you've got your 16 and then we'll separate the sleeves together. Okay, so I've reached my corner and I'm going to place one half treble into that chain space there. And then 
we're going to skip all these stitches along the side and we're going to pop it together like this and what you're going to do in this very next chain space here you're going to place another half treble crochet just like that and then you're going to work along the front of our dress here and you should have 33 stitches and you're going to work one half treble into each of these how pretty is this colour I love it and it's so nice to work with as well this I'm really enjoying it it's the first time I've ever used um, this particular yarn I'm finding lots of new favourites recently aren't I don't forget to um, hit subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Still trying to make it to the thousand subscribers. So it would be lovely if you could help me out with that. I'd really appreciate it. So I'm going to continue just making my half trebles along the front of my dress. And when I get to the next chain space of my corner I'll come back to you and we'll just separate that um, sleeve out again together okie dokie so hit pause and come back to me when you're at that point okay so I've just placed all of my half treble crochets along what is going to be the front of the dress and what we want to do now is in this chain space at the corner place one half treble then we're going to skip all these stitches again on this side oops I'm sorry and we're going to place a cluster directly into this chain space and that's 20 if you're a little bit unsure you're counting 27 stitches and that'll bring you to your chain space again and that's where you want to just yarn over and pop another half treble crochet and then along this back part you should have 17 stitches and you're going to work one half treble crochet into each of those so once you've completed that if you hit pause now until you get to that point and then we'll work on the body of the dress okie dokie hit pause just completed that round and I'm going to slip stitch it to the top of the very first stitch in the row and now the next two rows are going to be identical so what you want to do is turn your work and you're going to begin by chaining two and all you're going to do is place one half treble crochet in every stitch around until you come to the end and then you're just going to slip stitch it and repeat exactly the same process um, all the way around again so two identical rounds and just so you can keep track of your stitch count you should have a total of 70 half treble crochets going all the way around for each round so you work on those next two rounds hit pause and come back to me when we're both at the same point okay Okay, so I've just completed my two identical rounds and I'm just going to slip stitch it here to close. I'm going to turn my work and again chain two. So this next row we're going to be working the puff stitch. So this is what forms these little bobbles if I show you here on the James Brett one. Um, and the way that we do that is, so your stitch count is going to remain at 70 and we're not going to work into the same as we have done throughout the pattern. We're not working into here, we're going directly into here and we're going to work our first puff stitch. So the way we do this is we yarn over, we insert our hook, yarn over and pull up a loop and then we yarn over again. And we're going to do this a total of five times so that's twice so that's three times four times 
and five times and once you've done that you should have a total of 11 loops on your hook so let's just check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so once you've got all eleven loops on your hook all you're going to do is yarn over and pull through them all and then you're going to yarn over and directly into your next stitch you're going to place your half treble and that'll just pop out onto the right side of the dress so again we yarn over insert our hook yarn over and pull up a loop and pull it up quite tall you don't want these to be tight we're going to do this a total of five times so that's two three four and five so yarn over and then pull through all 11 loops on your hook yarn over into the next stitch and place your half treble so we're yarning over inserting our hook pulling up a loop yarning over again inserting our hook yarn over pull up a loop so that's two yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop for three yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop and that's four yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop and that's five yarn over and pull through all 11 loops on your hook yarn over into your next stitch and place your treble so we're just going to do that all the way around alternating the puff stitch and then you just get a bit more yarn alternating between the puff stitch and the half treble crochet I've lost count <laughs> He, I can't talk and count and get more yarn going. So this next one is our puff stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over and pull them all off. And then into my next one, you're placing a half treble. So work your way around, alternating those two stitches between the puff and the half treble. And I'll meet you back when I'm finishing off this round. Okay? Okay, so I'm at my last two stitches and I just wanted to show you how you would finish this round. So I've just done a half treble crochet here. So my next stitch is going to be a puff stitch. One, two, three four and five yarn over pull them all off and then my very last stitch is going to be a half treble crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of what was our very first puff stitch just make sure you're going under the two loops and you're not catching any of the stitch the bobble of the stitch and slip stitch that and then we're ready to turn our work but I just wanted to have a look at what we've got so far oh it's lovely it's such a simple little pattern but it looks so pretty and I think this wool is lovely because it's got really nice stitch definition on it okay so our next round is we're going to turn our work and all we want to do on this round is you're going to chain two to begin with and into each stitch along you're going to just place one half treble crochet but I just wanted to show you that the the puff stitches it will look a little bit longer in length so but you're still going into them so they're exactly the same so we're not popping anything here where our chain's coming out of. So our first half treble is going to go here. Like that. And then we're just going to place another one in this next stitch along. And you're going to do that all the way around. Your stitch count will remain the same. So it'll still be 70 half treble crochets all the way around. 
So once you have come to the end of this row of the body, then come back to me. So hit pause until you're at that point, And then when you're ready to finish off this round, then press play again. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've come to the end of my half treble crochet round and I'm just going to, again, in exactly the same way, slip stitch it to the top of my first treble, half treble. Turn my work and then what we're going to do is we're going to create the ruffle effect of it. So what you want to do is you're going to chain two. And we're going to increase, we're going to double the stitch count that we've got here. But because we want it to have that ruffle appearance as well, what we the way that we do that is we alternate um, between a front loop and a back loop half treble. So going into this next stitch along here, I'm going to place two half trebles, one in the front loop. So... The front loop is this one here that's closest to you and the back loop is this one here that is the one that's furthest away. So let's start with the front one. Just take your time with this because it's a little bit fiddly. So you're just going underneath that one loop and then what it's sometimes easier to do is just turn your work a little bit and you can see where the back loop is and it's just there. You go underneath that and you place your second half treble. So here's my front loop, here's my back loop. So I'm going to go into my front loop first and place a half treble and then I'm going to trying to find the best way to show you pick up this is the back loop that's left here so I'm just going to place a half treble into that back loop and you're just going to do that all the way along just alternating the first one through your front loop which is there And then your second one, which is through your back loop, which is a little bit more tricky to get your hook around. I do find it much easier if you turn your work a little bit and then you can catch it under. And pull it through. So there's my front loop. So I'm going underneath that, just catching onto that one loop. And then I'm going to just place one underneath the back loop. And you do that all the way around and you'll have a total of 140 stitches. So hit pause and then come back to me when you're at that same point. And I'll show you what we're doing next. Okay, I'm at my last couple of stitches of this alternating front loop, back loop. Gets much easier to do the further into it you get. This is my very last one here, so that's my front one done. And that's my back loop done. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and pull through and that is what we're looking like so far. This is the back of the dress so if we turn it over and now from this point on until you complete the dress every round is identical. So what I do is I measure the dresses. So once it gets to 31 in, no, oh, not 31 inches. 
Once it gets to 13 inches, which is 33 centimetres where I'm getting all my units mixed up, that's where I tend to finish for a zero to six months. Obviously, if you want to make it longer, just continue to the length you want. But the way you measure it is you place your tape measure up at your top shoulder all the way down to the bottom of the dress. So you can see it's just measuring five inches at the moment. So we've still got a way to go, but every round is the same from now on. And it's super easy. We just pop place in. We're just, we're just going to be placing one half treble crochet in every stitch along. So we turn, chain two, and then again go into this stitch here, like we have been doing throughout the whole pattern. And you just place in one half treble in every single stitch along. And your stitch count should remain at 140 throughout the rest of the pattern of this dress. So keep an eye on the measurement so you know when you're coming close to the length that you need. And then when you reach the 13 inches or the length that you prefer, then come back to me at that point and I'll just show you how we finish the dress off. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've finished my dress. I just want to double check the measurements of it. Hope you've had fun making it. So I like just checking the length when it's um, lay flat because a lot of times I'll be making these while I'm sat watching TV or things. So it's, it's best to lie your garment flat when you do your final measurement check. And we want 13 inches and we're just at 13 inches. So from the top of the shoulder down to the bottom of the dress and you can see there that I'm at the 13 inches. So that's perfect for all at zero to six month old. So I can go ahead now and finish this off. So all you're going to do to finish it off is literally you just want to slip stitch it to the very first half treble that you did, chain one, leave yourself enough of a tail to weave in the ends. So I've got five or six inches there. Pull on that knot tightly and then I like to weave in the ends, that's where I've joined my um, second ball of yarn. So I just like to weave in my ends on the inside, so let me just grab myself a darning needle. Don't forget the written patterns over on RoccoBabyCrochet.com. How exciting. And also don't forget that you've got your 10% discount from the wool seller as well. So on the inside here, what I like to do is just follow up the seam. And all I'm going to do is run my needle underneath just the back loops so nothing shows on the front of the dress where we've tied in the yarn. Just take your time doing this because you don't want it all peeking through on the other side. So I tend to pick up about six or seven loops and pull that through. Make sure that it's not pulling on the dress too much. And then I go back down, but I skip this last loop that I went under. But I just go down exactly the same stitches. Just not quite as many. So I stop before I get to the bottom of the dress. Pull it through. And then I'll do one last pass, again missing this last one that I went under 
and just picking up those last couple there. So you'll have a couple of ends to tie in. So you'll have the one up at the top and where you've joined your yarn. But once you've done that, your dress is pretty much done. So let's have a look at it. I really can't decide which one I like the most. I'm a massive fan of both of these. I love this pink colour. It's um, really beautiful. I think my Rocco's been up here. It's the only place that I don't really let him up on. And it's his favourite place to come. <laughs> so this is the lovely raspberry colour. And this is the dress completed in the James Brett driftwood i really can't decide which one i like the best i think that i'm plumping towards this silk caress one i think i am um so leave me a comment below which one do you like the best and don't forget um like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video the free patterns on the website at rockobaby.com Discount over at the Wool Cellar on the Silk Arrest and the James Brett Driftwood. Thank you very much, Joe Lovell, the owner over there at uh, the Wool Cellar. And if you do make this dress and you want to show um, the pictures of it, then head on over to our Facebook group um, and that's Rock or Baby Crochet as well. Um, I'm, I tend to be on there quite a lot and uh, I love seeing what you've all been making. Okay, so take care. I'll see you very soon. Thank you for all the support you've given me so far. Really appreciate it and I'm looking forward to next week's tutorial. See you later. Bye.